All right. Today we're going to talk about uh, how we insert our foam inside of our frames and in our sashes and why we feel that what we use at Thermal Windows and Doors is superior to some of the other companies that are putting foam in their frames and sashes. If you see what I have right here is a steaming hot cup of coffee. And what lets me be able to hold this cup of hot coffee in my hand is this polystyrene cup. And here's an empty polystyrene cup. You see the steam coming off of this coffee right now. What we do with our window, with our frame and our sashes, you'll see that we've inserted foam into the frame and into the sash. And if you noticed, I said inserted. There's companies out there who will take a foam and they'll spray their foam into their sash and into their frame. And the problem with that is when that's being sprayed into that sash or into that frame at the plant, it might be 70 degrees out on the plant floor. When that window is being installed, it might be 95 degrees that day or it might be 30 degrees that day. The problem with spraying a foam into a cavity is that foam is an adhesive. And that foam is adhering to your vinyl sash or to your frame. Now when it starts to heat up and the weather changes and the temperature changes, that foam is adhered to your vinyl. The vinyl is trying to move at a different rate than what your foam is, which can cause distortion in your vinyl frame or in your window. What we like to do here at Thermal, the same process that we use with this hot, co hot cup of coffee, is we use a closed cell polystyrene foam. And if you hold it in your hand, you'll feel that you will actually feel it heating up. But what we do is, and if you can zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that our foam is actually made to fit our cavities. We don't fill all of our cavities with foam because the best insulating value that you can get is combination of foam and open cavities, which, is, uh, which gives you air chambers. So we take our foam and we insert it into our frame and we insert it into our sashes, which means that when the temperature changes, and we're going to have zero degrees one day this year, we'll also have 100 degrees day, uh, sometime this year. So we have a 100 degree temperature change. Our foam is inserted and when the vinyl tries to expand and contract, our foam can actually move with that vinyl frame, with that vinyl sash. So it's not adhered to the vinyl, it's not causing a distortion. That's why we feel that an inserted foam is definitely a most uh, superior way to use foam in your frame and in your sash. 